Hi, this is Venetia and welcome back to Skipping with Jesus. I am so glad to be back with you on a regular schedule. I um, thank everyone that um, has been holding me up in prayer, encouraging me. Um, I really, from the bottom of my heart, it touched me and um, I um, really, really do appreciate it. I love you all so very much. Um, even though I have been um, under the weather for about six days now, just recovering, um, never once did Abba leave me. Never once did Jesus forsake me and Holy Spirit continue to give me revelation and interpretation. And it's amazing that though you have no voice, maybe that's what was intended that I not have no voice. So I was able to really lean in and get what um, these last couple of words and, um, and, um, um, uh, spoken words and revelations that I was uh, to receive. Um, just got finished releasing um, the video on a revelation regarding the dream of my spiritual daughter, um, Sharon Barron. And I pray that one day, um, and hopefully one day soon, she is going to be able to share with you guys her beautiful, beautiful um, ashes to beauty story because it is one that has prepared her for such a time as this. And uh, I am so, so honored to have come into her life after 30 years, 30 years um, that last year she came back into my life. And believe it or not, she was one of my daughter's closest, closest, um, one of her closest friends when they were just, just little tots, um, five and six years old, seven years old maybe, and um, slumber parties. And um, I barely remember her, but she remembered me and, and of course Celeste. And, um, and it's amazing how, um, I'm just gonna let her tell her story, but it's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful story. So that last video that I just re released was revelation on her dream. There's many more layers to her dream that's, um, has been unfolding is it applicable to the ministry of where she is at now. In fact, she is the, uh, she, there is a blueprint that Abba gave me two years ago of a single mom's community. And, um, and in this community, um, it's where um, we are going to uproot and tear down the generational curses and raise a group of, of children up to be mighty warriors of Jesus Christ. And um, believe it or not, um, Abba had me present the blueprint to her. And um, she is stewarding that and stewarding it so well. And that's another testimony in itself. But um, it's amazing how my Abba loves me so much that he's given me spiritual daughters and I'm seeing their lives transformed like from like literally from ashes from the fire heap of life into these beautiful gifted souls for the kingdom of God. 
It is so beautiful, so beautiful. So I'm going to encourage you, if you have testimonies, if you have encounters that you would like to share and, and you don't have a platform or, or you feel like God is leading you to a platform, but you don't have that established or you, you haven't um, gotten the courage enough yet to step forward, send them to me, honey. We, this is God's channel and he is doing phenomenal work with his channel. He just knows what to do, where to put, you know, who's, who needs to see. And he just like is doing phenomenal, phenomenal, um, transformation in lives through, um, what he's doing on this channel. I love you all. And I'm going to say a word of prayer and then we're going to get into this. Actually, this is going to be uh, three, four, the fifth of this series regarding the um, fire of God. This, you're gonna, this is going to blow you away. So anyway, I, well, not literally blow you away unless the Holy Spirit blows his wind on you and you've got the fire of God on you, then there's a great possibility you're going to set a forest on fire, okay? All right, let's just get a word of prayer in, and then um, we will start from there. Oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Oh, since the moment you gave, uh, Abba gave this word to me last night, it has burned in me. It has burned in me. This new thing that Abba is doing throughout the earth, setting his children on fire, doing wild things, doing wild things. Oh, let me be wild for you, Abba. Jesus, let me be wild for you. Let me burn as a mighty flame of fire and Holy Spirit blow, blow the fire you have that Abba has set in me, consuming me for his greater glory to be established within the earth. I am a open vessel. Use me, use me until I'm used up. I have sacrificed myself on your altar, Holy Spirit. Now consume me. Consume me with this word to speak. As Abba gave it to me last night. God the Father. My, my Father. How you love me. How I love you. There is no other I trust like I trust you. I am your daughter. I am your chosen one. To walk with your son down this uncharted path, I don't have a clue where I'm going or my next step. All I know is I trust you to place my step in your divine purpose and in your divine will. And I ask, Holy Spirit, that you take over this vessel and let it be none of me, none of me and all of you. May I speak with clarity, with clarity of how God the Father spoke to me and may it raise up a mighty remnant of fire walking, fire burning, bride throughout the earth. We know this is the new thing. We know this is the new thing Abba spoke of so many times in his spoken word. 
For he says, I am doing a new thing. Do you not see it? Do you not perceive it? Oh, has the Holy Spirit not revealed it to you? I am doing a new thing, not only within you, but within the earth. It will reveal my glory. Oh, surrender, surrender to this new thing. Holy Spirit, here am I. Surrender to you. Jesus, I love you and all glory be given to you in your precious name. Amen. Oh, goodness. Here we go. <laughs> so, the, name, the title of this spoken word is, My Fire Ignites the New Thing. And this was given to me last night, 6, 7, 24 at 2.02 a.m. By God the Father's voice. Or should I say through God the Father's voice. And, um... 202, the timestamp 202 is relevant for this word. It's, and I'm going to spell the Greek. It's A K R O A T E S. And it was, this is in the Strong's Concordance. And it's defined as, we've had it before, a hearer. And the usage is a hearer of, a listener to. God has spoken this word and he is telling us to hear it, to listen to it, to receive it, to get it down in our spirit, okay? And then to act upon it. And the um, written word is found in Romans 2, 13 in the Amplified. For it is not those who merely hear the law as it is read aloud, who are just and righteous before God, but it is those who actually obey the law who will be justified, pronounced free of the guilt of sin and declared acceptable to him. And then in this Isaiah 43, 18 and 19 in the new in, in the NIV, it's, it says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? It is making a way. I, it is making. I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Wasteland. And I am telling you, that former way that he did, he had church. He's no longer doing it that way. So you better flip the script because he flipped it last night while we were asleep. I'm telling you, it's a new thing. It's a new day. It's a new time in his eternity. Now let's, let's see what he had to say. As the sun rises with the dawn of a new day, many will awaken to something that has changed within their lives over the hours in the night. What was it that changed? Was it physical? No. Was it something in the environment? They don't think so, but something changed in them. What was it that changed? Then the dream comes to mind. That was it, revelation, the actual spirit of knowledge, revealing understanding. What was changed is that I have shifted in the spirit, shaking. Those that cannot be shaking recognize it as an opportunity to grow deeper in their understanding of me and my ways, while others that will be shaken are oblivious to me and my ways around and in them. My shaking has begun throughout the earth. Many will fall away, but many more will return to me. For the Holy Spirit is drawing sons and daughters back to their fathers and mothers. And the Holy Spirit's supernatural power is drawing the prodigals home to me, says the Father. <coughs> 
I am changing things to my new way. The old way of going, of doing church is gone. It has been thrown out with the dirty bath water. Have I not, I have I not told you through my prophets a new thing is coming? Well, it shifted in the overnight. Many who carry my fire are bringing church out in the streets, into the marketplaces, businesses, governments, and family homes. The public will see my glory flowing through those who have become wild with my fire. They are unapologetic, unashamed, uncompromising without the fear of man nor do they carry a religious spirit hindering my advancement throughout the earth of my glory and kingdom they allow the holy spirit to flow through them igniting a wave of my glory the world has never witnessed my supernatural will become a way of life in their natural they carry my fire torch blazing everything within their path through uncontainable, contro uncontrollable fire being poured out throughout the earth through them. From the moment they sit up and step out of bed at dawn till the moment they lay their head at night, my presence will encounter them. The Holy Spirit will change the lives of strangers through strangers to them, but known to me. Many will encounter me through surrendered vessels that are wildly and totally ob obedient to my voice. Those needing hope will find their hope in me. Those needing healing will find their healing through me. The divine physician, those needing comfort will find their comfort from the comforter, the Holy Spirit. Those needing salvation will find their rebirth through the redemption plan of my son and their soon to be savior. Those needing provision will be provided for through the manna from my kingdom's resources. All who are encountered will receive an encounter of my presence flowing through and out of my wild ones as my spirit flows through and out of the out of them like a mighty Russian river of life giving water flowing from my throne room. Radically, I am changing the way church has been done in the past. No longer will the world come to the church. My church will bring me into the world. So my beloved, in your surrendered vessel, continuously carry my presence out to the world in obedience to my voice. Be wild with my fire that has been ignited in you for this is the day I'm going, I am doing the new thing in you and through you says your God. Then in James 1 22 and through 25 in the Passion Translation, it says to us, don't just listen to the word of truth and not respond to it, for that is the essence of self-deception. So always let his word become like poetry written and fulfilled by your life. If you listen to the word and don't live out the message you hear, you become like the person who looks in the mirror of the word to discover the reflection of his face in the beginning. You perceive how God sees you in the mirror of the word, but then you go out and forget your divine origin. But those who set their clays, their gaze deeply into the perfecting law of liberty are fascinated by and respond to the truth they hear and are strengthened by it. They experience God's blessing in all that they do. 
I pray that you catch fire and be one of the wild ones for Jesus that takes the church to the businesses, to the marketplace, out to the communities. Do not be ashamed. Do not, um, do not um, fear men because I am telling you, he has come to empower us and to equip us to do the work of the kingdom within our streets. I love you all. Until next time, God bless you and keep you. And may his face shine upon everything you touch to do for the kingdom. May the Father find us faithful in skipping down those uncharted pathways with our friend Jesus. I love you all. I ask you to share this word because I am telling you, many are going to catch the fire and become the wild ones in the streets. I love you all. Till next time. Bye-bye.